Since today, today is WWE SummerSlam, I thought I'd come from you from the confines of my car outside because SummerSlam is indeed going to be outside. Now, I know in these videos you're used to me being the confines of my place, my home, my backyard, so to speak. But we're going to be truly in my backyard because I'm outside my backyard right now. Now, first of all, first and foremost, you see the title of the video. Yes, a major killing, a major passing away. According to one superstar, yes, according to one star. And if you like WWE hourly, multiple videos a day, make sure to subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. And most importantly, become a channel member today. Everybody can now donate with a super thanks donation in the comments section. Now, ladies Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, right now we have brand new WWE Tag Team Champions in the Bloodline. What did you think of last night's SmackDown? Did you like it? Were you for it? Were you against it? What did you think of last night's SmackDown? Was there any moments you liked? Was there any matches you liked? Were you shocked by anything? I mean, you got to feel bad for DIY. You have to feel bad for DIY. They only held the championships for a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, and now they're already the challengers again. They're already the losers again. I, I was expecting like Randy Orton to come out and screw them or Kevin Owens to come out and screw them. I was expecting somebody to come out and help DIY, but to no avail. So what was your thoughts? Uh, you know, usually we rate you know, shows of Raw, SmackDown out of 10 or 5 stars. Today, I'll switch it up. We'll go with 10 stars today. What did you rate SmackDown out of 10 stars last night? Again, did you like the show? Did you fast forward through the show? Did you prefer to just watch the highlights? What was your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions of SmackDown last night? Now, as we all know, in a few hours will be the hottest event of the year, the blockbuster SummerSlam. But, what do you think about Britt Baker being suspended from AEW? A lot of rumors and speculation is Britt Baker going to come to the WWE uh, after, um, you know, things are just going haywire backstage in AEW. AEW is falling apart at the seams. AEW is literally crumbling right before our very eyes. Their practices, the things they do, the way they, the way they handle things. I don't know, guys. I don't know. That, that company right now. It needs a savior. It, AEW definitely needs a savior. No doubt about that. But what is doubting is what we heard, ladies and gentlemen, what we heard, and, and, and we all know how volatile it is between CM Punk and Drew McIntyre with Seth freaking Rollins as the special guest referee, the troubleshooting referee that he is. Now, upon all of that, if you watch the WWE SummerSlam uh, party yesterday, the pre-show, the prelim um, press conference, wh whatever you want to call that they did yesterday on YouTube, okay? They did this little SummerSlam party thing, you know, the show before the show, and, uh, and they were in front of the audience, in front of the crowd, and, and, and Drew McIntyre, you want to talk about losing all control. You want to talk about bringing this thing to a whole nother level. The reason why you see a casket in the thumbnail of the video is because Drew McIntyre has said he is going to kill CM Punk at SummerSlam. There's going to be a casket in the stadium. Cleveland is going to be in front of the biggest funeral we have ever had. CM Punk said that to Drew McIntyre, and then Drew McIntyre said, I'm going to kill you. So is there going to be a death? Is there going to be someone passing away at SummerSlam? I mean, we're talking about death. We're talking about funeral. We're talking about killing. In a feud, this is how volatile, this is how prominent between Drew McIntyre and CM Punk this thing has got. This thing is going over the edge. This thing is going over the line. Is there going to be a potential death in a match for the first time in WWE history? This has reached a boiling point between CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. Who do you want to personally win? Do you want to see CM Punk win? Do you think Drew McIntyre wins? Who do you personally want to see win tonight? Who deserves it? Who has earned it? Who has been gold during this entire feud, this entire program? And what is Seth Rollins going to do? What is Seth Rollins going to do? What is Seth Rollins going to do during this match? Obviously, your predictions and your comments. Is Seth Rollins going to lay out both men? Is Seth Rollins going to wait till both men are spent and tired and weak and pick apart the bones? What is Seth freaking Rollins ultimately going to do at the end of the day? But upon all of that, guys, is it the death 
of Seth Is it Hell, maybe imagine if CM Punk and Drew McIntyre somehow teamed up during this match and took out Rollins. Then there's people saying that Rollins and Drew McIntyre are going to take out CM Punk. I mean, there's a lot of varieties. There's a lot of variables. There's a lot of different things that go into this. Make no mistake about it at the end of the day. But, ladies and gentlemen... With all the falling aparts going on backstage in AEW, MJF, why isn't he suspended? MJF reportedly punched a wall. I'm hearing this morning, MJF reportedly punched a wall. That's what I'm getting, and that's what I'm hearing this morning. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, please, right now, please take the time to become a channel member today. We're going to have a whole month. It's going to be fully loaded. It is going to be jam-packed rumors and news all month long, like it is every day. On the brash and the brazen, we keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. We definitely raise the bar in all WWE on this channel. Now, I will also be presenting as best as I can do. Hopefully, the storm doesn't kill me again. Hopefully, the storm doesn't take me out. There's a lot of a lot of talk about death and killing and passing away in this video. It's it's it's, 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 a, it's a very it's a very eerie thing. Is the Undertaker in attendance? There's been a lot of rumors and speculation uh, of a massive return tonight. Uh, now, could that be the return of John Cena? Could that be the return of Roman Reigns? Again, and what do you think about the WWE title match now becoming a bloodline rules match? It is now becoming a bloodline rules match. What in the hell is going to happen? What is going to go down during that match? Ladies and gentlemen, the magnitude of this is Cody Rhodes' championship in jeopardy now that is a bloodline rules. Now this, to me, would offer the opportunity for Roman Reigns to come back. Maybe Paul Heyman's going to be the return. Again, a lot of rumors and speculations about a returns happening at SummerSlam, the hottest event of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, it is no wonder I'm the brash and the brazen. Sean V. Entertainment ups the ante. We give you what you want to see, what you want to know, and what you want to hear. We're going to be here all day, every day, multiple times a day, multiple videos a day, all the content where you need it and how you want it. Subscribe.